where am I at here? This is where I'm working. It's Copenhagen and it's uh, December 2010. And this is where I work every day. Please come in. The theme came up because I went to Berlin uh, last summer and I had a friend who took me the first night to uh, an amazing place in Berlin. Um, she's a tango dancer uh, at the Museum Island where there was a wooden floor that was spotted up with light and um, there was all these dancers, all kinds of people, all kinds of couples and um, I was completely um, mesmerized by the concept and the feeling of the, of the dancing of these people. And um, it was like taking snapshots with my mind because afterwards I just started to draw tango dances and dances and movement and um, I've done that before but um, it was extremely inspiring. The, they were playing like old tango music and uh, Jimi Hendrix and uh, The Doors, they played Portishead and I was really fascinated by the combination of this old traditional dance combined with um, modern music and, uh, and even rock music. You sort of have to feel the woman's movement before you actually, as a man, make a move. So, so it's really an interaction that I think um, is exciting because, well, if the world was a little bit more like that and we tangoed together, I think we could, you know, get along a little better, you know, because you have to feel each other instead of communicating with words or, or discussing things, but, but just listening and, 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 and taking your move um, based on what the other person is doing. And I think that is so beautiful. And that's why I did these paintings, I guess. And I work on the four paintings uh, at the same time. And they sort of inspire each other and it was my idea to have them sort of dance in the class and, and hang them up in a, in a room where it's like you dance with them or you are part of this dance floor that, that I was part of in Berlin. I was on this, in this place uh, with these dancers and, and it changed totally my mind about Berlin and what had happened there and, and the future of Berlin because because even places that has been bumped to the ground has, has these like flowers that are just appearing everywhere and, and that's why I saw in Berlin.